Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Hey. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. We are back again. Um, this is another edition of In the Mix Mondays, Light and Lively. I have fellow Yak Radio fam guest DJ Haitian Lover in the house. Yes, yes, I'm in the building. Thank you again for building. holding me down. No doubt. Anytime, anytime, anytime. It's my so, pleasure. <laughs> I appreciate it. Shout out to Greg Nice. What's up? Anyway. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to get to it. Um, okay, so today we do have um, a special, well, special guest in the house. I'll introduce her and her partner in a little bit. Um, today we're going to talk about are the kids of today a lost cause? That's like the main topic. It's going to get a little heated, probably. Um, I'm sure you guys have a lot to say about that. The phone number for the listeners is um, 877-760-1422 if you want to call in. Or oh, actually, when I say it's okay to call in. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't, don't call in right this second, but in a minute. So, um, what did we do over the weekend? We usually kind of do a quick recap. I know ladies, you know, ladies first. How was your week? Like, like, like. Oh, me first? Um, my week or my week? Well, it was um, okay. It was raining all weekend. Oh. So, I didn't do much Saturday. Actually, I did get a chance to work on my little birthday promo video. Did you see it? Oh, I didn't get to see it yet. Yes. I got to see the birthday promo. I know, I know you really... Are really excited about your birthday. Right? I'm excited about my birthday. So Aries season is turn coming. Up. Turn up, turn up. Time to turn up. So I celebrate once April first hits. It's my birthday the whole month. So <laughs> just FYI, right? Okay. So I mean, this has been going on for a long time. So I mean, everybody that knows me, this is just what I do. <laughs> so um, don't judge me. Anyway, um, and that's pretty much it. Just kind of chilled out. Okay, okay, okay. Nothing, so, nothing major. What did you do? Well, you know, I was, you know, usually I'm, you know, in the clubs how many days a week, you understand? So, like seven? You know what I mean? Uh-huh. I was, yeah, I was telling um, Lady Chase, yes, shout out to Lady Chase, too, and then you already know what it is. Um, yeah, you already know I'm in the clubs how many days a week, not to mention the nine to five. So, you know, this weekend was definitely a real busy weekend. Saturday, you know, I was at a baby shower, then I had to set up for an event, you understand? So, it was real busy. He stayed working. Yeah. No, that's just, a good thing. Yeah. But this week, I'm, chill. I'm trying to definitely relax. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, this week, I don't know. Things kind of pop up sometimes. So for now, I'm just on chill mode. I think, well, I said to myself, I'm going to relax until my birthday or at least until April. So I'm probably going to lay low a little bit for the rest of the month. And then April, we turn up. All the way up. All the way up. All right. So, yeah, we're going to be at Panache. Um, April 18th. Okay. And also, Panache has social Thursdays. You guys should come through one day. Oh, yeah. Yes, so. Every Thursday thing. Pretty much. Yeah, so, um, you know, I do this thing for any new listeners who don't know. Um, you know, I, I like to set it off. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> See, he's on point. This is my theme music to the set it off. All right, so. <laughs> um,. Okay, there were a few things that I needed to get off my chest. All right, number one. Have you ever been to a restaurant and the waiter, um, how shall I say this? This this is my waiters that can't wait um, <laughs> little segment. So me and the boo, we, you know, at a little restaurant. So the waiter that was assigned to the table is like, okay, from the time we walked in, he couldn't just, I guess, wait the table. So he has like other people that realized that we were sitting there for a, a little too long. So they came over and they're like, ah, you know, like, can we take a drink? But this is really something that you should have been on point. So when he finally comes over, it's like, oh yeah, sorry, I didn't realize you sat down. Really? You didn't realize that we <laughs> sat down? So, I mean, you should be paying Ouch. attention to your area is what I thought. Okay, so then, <laughs> Right, so then towards the end, it's like, he's talking to us and walking by as he's talking. How about you stop at the table? You know what I'm saying? He's like, oh, you want that to go? Okay, you want to go, uh, like, a takeout thing? Okay, well, I'll get that for you. But he didn't. He said it all while he was walking by. Wow. And I'm like, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> 
couch. Yeah, he did a he did a walk by weight. <laughs> I, I just made that up. Yeah, so he did a walk by weight. That was horrible. So, you know, I did not want to tip him, but you know. How much? How much of a tip did you give him? Three dollars. Three dollars. Oh, he's bald. <laughs> that's all. He did. <laughs> Yo, that's all he got, and I didn't want to even give him a dollar. I was like, he was horrible. Sorry. Well, what restaurant were you at, if you don't mind me asking? Applebee's. Oh. On a Friday? No, on a Sunday. Applebee's is my spot. I don't know which one. We're going to have to put him on blast. We're not going to put the exact location. Oh, no, okay. Let me not say the location, because I don't want to get a lawsuit. Exactly. Yeah, they were a little bit, um... Yeah. I don't know. Oh, man. Yeah, so I wanted to kind of, like, clothesline them, but, you know... My etiquette so didn't allow me to. So. so you said, you know, I'm just going to set it off on them. Like yeah, so I waited. I waited for today. <laughs> I just waited. Now, one other thing. Now, this is really funny. Um, Well, it was funny to me. I don't know if it's going to be funny to you, but you can probably relate to this. So I was on Instagram, um, you know, scrolling through, and <laughs> there was a person, one of my followers, who made a comment about... You know, like when you go to the club and the ladies, certain ladies like to swarm the guys that are buying bottles. Oh, you know, yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah, I know, HL, you know about this, right? So, <laughs> <laughs> so he he made a comment and I was just like, wow. Basically, he was saying how, um, okay, you know that, okay, the Grey Goose and the cranberry, right, was going around. So certain females use the liquor as an excuse to exhibit thought-like behavior. <laughs> so, and then they like to blame it on the alcohol. But hold on, yeah. uh, you have to define thought for anybody who doesn't know the definition of thought. Okay, so um, that hoe over there basically is what I know <laughs> yes. it stands for. Yes. Am I correct? An yeah. acronym, okay. yes. It, yes. It, thought it, is an acronym. Yes, yeah, yes. that's what it stands for. So, um, or 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 the hood owns that. That is another. Oh, okay. Acronym. I didn't. That's another. Yes, that is another. That's another acronym. The hood. Okay. Yeah. The hood. The hood owns that. You know. So. Uh -huh. I, well, I don't know which one is better, the, but the, that hole over there is more common. You know, that's a lot of people know about that one, but oh, the hood owns that is one that I. Okay. I so it was also. funny because the dude said that he was pouring drinks for the girl, right? So all the while he's pouring her just juice, so she's thinking that there's liquor in it wow. and there's no liquor in it. So he was like, little did she know she was only getting cranberry juice, but you still acted like a thought. There was no look in the drink. <laughs> so, so stop. Yeah, exactly. So stop acting. Well, first of all, stop being so thirsty. And if you're going to go to the club, just have money to buy your own drinks. Stop trying to buy more for dudes at the table with their bottles. The funny thing is that a lot of females tend to do that. You know what I mean? I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say all, but you have a certain group, a certain particular type of females <laughs> who tend to do that. One time, one time, you know, we we had a couple of bottles at the table. And then a girl came up to me and she said, where are your cups? Oh. How do you wow. offer yourself wow. a drink at my table? <laughs> like she said, where are your cups? Wait, 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 but do I know you? Do I even know you? Where are your you cups? Like, I just, even, whether I know you or not, you understand? You have to wait, you know, for me to offer you. Say, hey, you want a drink? Would you like a drink? I'm always going to offer you. Would you like a drink? <laughs> to, be, to be honest with you this time, the person who gave it to me was I didn't really want to offer them a drink, so you know what I mean? I didn't offer. Like I was sitting there, we were sitting on our drink, like Moet, you know, we had no Moet bagels, NSC, whatever, and I'm sipping on my drink, and I purposely did not want to offer her a drink. I'll be real with you. Wow. But she came up to me and said, where are your cups? You understand? Uh, wow. And, and what did you say? Huh? And what did you tell her? I, I don't have any more. Sorry. <laughs> Look, she should have put put her hair like this. Put put her hair out. <laughs> no, but um, it sucks wow. for you. But to all the ladies out there, um, just just be aware because this might happen to you and you just don't realize it and you want to act like a damn fool and blame yes. on a liquor, but they're really not giving you liquor. They giving you cranberry juice or mm. orange juice or whatever other kind of juice that's on the table. Anyway, I just you know had to say that. Don't try to blame me on the liquor, ladies. Exactly. No go. Now one last thing. I don't know if you guys saw this. But I don't understand the thing. Okay, there was something I was watching on Facebook that happened in uh, Lancaster, Pennsylvania, um, at a nail salon. 
there was a fight between the <laughs> the <laughs> nail salon lady and one of the customers because um, the nail salon refused to do her daughter's nails. Why did they refuse? How was the daughter? Now, I'm going to show you the video later off air, but it was crazy. They were like brawling, knock down, drag out, fight in the nail salon. <laughs> and I'm like, the she was kind of too young, but there was a sign in the um, nail salon that said we have the right to refuse, mm-hmm. you know, service, ser- you know, service. Right. But if you still carrying a baby in your arm. No. Um, yeah, she was still carrying a baby in her arm. Wow. Um, I think maybe she was a little too young, but you know, the lady got upset. I, it just escalated way out of control. So I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna show you guys. But um, yeah, so that concludes my set it off. I just people just need to get it together. Absolutely. And we'll we'll get on that McDonald's Brooklyn brawl situation oh, also. Um, <laughs> since we're on the subject. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Since we're on that subject, but we'll touch on that more um, as pertaining to the topic. Um, you know, are the kids of today a lost cause? I don't know. Uh, Cause right now, what's going on? I just I don't understand it. I don't get it. But we're gonna talk more about that. So when we come back, um, we're going to talk more with um, doctor. I have to say doctor. You know, I didn't even know you were doctor. I know, but anyway, <laughs> uh, Karen and um, Doctor Hecker. Doctor Hecker. Doctors, female doctors, and I have to mention. March is Women's Month, so okay. Yeah. Uh, right. Again, right. so I this month Sorry. I'm trying to have yes, all the females that are doing their thing, right. you know, come through and shed some light on some things. So um, when we get back, we're gonna get into it. That's right. Okay. Doctor. Right.